Meat bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to Borderlands the pre-sequel. Today I'm back in the Claptastic Voyage DLC and I'm going to be showing you how to get the legendary flayer shotgun which is a new legendary shotgun uh, within this DLC. Now there are a couple of ways to do this but uh, this is the what drop I actually got. So what I'm doing here is uh, moonshot farming uh, if you remember from Borderlands 2 with the warrior. It's that same kind of thing um, where I get to the last boss, kill him and then uh, back up my save file or set it to read only and uh, before I actually take this H source and uh, this is a great method because you're guaranteed a legendary every single time with this one so all you've got to do is keep going in until you get the weapon you want so there are normal vanilla DLC, uh, sorry vanilla legendaries that come out of here but uh, the very first time I actually tried this this little guy came out, so this is the well kept flayer um, variety, oh my god what's it doing to Sanchez is the uh, red tech, so we'll go ahead and pick that up now. Now this is a pretty good shotgun actually, I actually do enjoy it, there's a lot of people that uh, I've seen don't, you know, they don't not rate it but they don't go crazy for it or anything like that. Uh, I'll actually use the striker a lot, well this is just brilliant really, it, uh, it has massive damage, times 15 on as well on the damage. 11% um, weapon damage, consumes 2 ammo per shot and fires as fast as you can pull the trigger. I like them, that's a good thing about Jacobs. Uh, you can just spam the hell out of the bullets. So we're going to take it into uh, Cluster Overlook now and uh, just take down a load of the enemies with it and show you guys actually uh, what it's all about. But uh, like I said, um, I do like this. If you like your shotguns, this one is pretty powerful really. And uh, with uh, a lot of mobs you'll see in a minute, with uh, Nisha's showdown, you can just absolutely destroy anyone that really comes uh, into your actual way. But uh, yeah, there you go. Like I said, I got that from an EOS drop um, while actually uh, doing the little moonshot farming of him. We'll call it moonshot farming because uh, that's what uh, is kind of the famous method of uh, farming a boss like that. But uh, yeah, it's just take basically getting to uh, EOS down and uh, when Shadow Trap actually comes out, you just uh, set your uh, game to read only on PC or back up your save data on PC and just continuously farm him. Every time you take the uh, H source, he'll guarantee drop a legendary. So uh, definitely a very good way of doing it and uh, I'll be using that method to get as many of the legendary items as possible. But just for the sake of it, we've seen within this DLC, it's not the only way to get the, uh, the weapon drops. I haven't tested it yet and I haven't seen the flare drop in any other method. But keep an eye out for ultimate badass glitches, um, the super badass bots from um, the subconscious map you know they then guys have a chance to drop legendaries as well but uh, yeah for now I got this from EOS so we can definitely confirm that that comes from EOS but you might get them in random uh, world drops from super badasses and ultimate badasses as well I'll keep an eye on that and uh, probably update in the description if uh, I can find anyone who's got it in another method but uh, yeah there you go let me guys uh, let me know what you guys think of the legendary flayer shotgun if you get one uh, down in the comments below but for now that is another legendary location guide the flayer shotgun within the new claptastic voyage dlc thanks for watching everyone and i will see you guys in the next episode